I'm going to create a GitHub classroom to test automatic, automatic grading. Within that classroom, I'm going to create an assignment that is going to be based on a GitHub repo that has testing built in already. So let's go ahead and start off by creating our first classroom here. I'm going to do it within the Onexi organization and I'm going to call it greetings. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. I will skip the teaching staff or integration into an LMS. And as you can see here, I have the bare bones classroom. I'm then going to go ahead and navigate to assignments. I'm going to go ahead and create my first assignment. I will call it hello because we're testing a hello greeting. I'm going to skip the rest of the options and go with the defaults with the exception of making the repository public. I'm then going to go ahead and continue. I'm going to select my repo and my repo will be 1xe slash hello. And you can see here I have the, the hello repository. I'm going to select source importer because I have not yet created a template. I'm going to skip the new option of allowing an online IDE. I'm going to hack select and continue. And I'm then going to add the auto grading test. I'm going to select here the node option and I will call it test hello and go with the defaults. I'll save that and then I will go ahead and create the assignment. As you can see here, the, the next screen gives me the option to copy to the clipboard the address that I would then hand out to students. And I'm then going to go ahead and navigate to a completely different machine. This is actually a VM, as you can see here, Mac OS 1014. And within this machine, which is a completely different machine than the one I'm working on, I will go ahead and run through the, the simulation. Well, not simulation, I will actually be doing the assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click or paste the, the path that I have brought over from the, the other machine, which is this one here. And I will accept the assignment. So it's, I'm going to go ahead and accept the assignment and you can see there that a repository is being created then into that repository code is being imported as you can see there. And now you can see there that we're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to that repo. I will select the address to clone and then I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and I'm going to work on this terminal window or within this machine that is a virtual machine. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the desktop and there I'm going to enter the command to clone the repository. As you can see there, I'm now going to go ahead and take a look and you can see there that there is a hello file, uh, Peter Parker data. I'm going to move into it and within it we have a simple hello test and a hello file and if we take a look at hello you'll see there that we simply have a function that returns hello and within the test file we have code that tests for hello world in this case, I'm simply going to edit the file. This is the hello.js file, and I'm simply going to add to it hello planet. This is still going to fail because it's expecting hello world, but I just wanted to change the file so that when I upload these changes to GitHub, the automated testing kicks in. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, confirm that the changes are there. You can see there that we have Hello Planet. I'm now going to confirm that the changes are on queue, and then I will add them. Git add, confirm. 
you can see there that the files are now added. I'm now going to go ahead and commit and I will say first commit or my comment will be first commit. Then I'm going to go ahead and push those changes into GitHub. So it looks like that has gone through. Uh, if we go back to the browser, we should be able to see our changes here. Let me go ahead and reload that page. And you can see there, uh, let's see, the code says first commit for all of it. And if we took a look at that file, we should be able to see hello planet. Okay, now if we go back, I'm gonna go ahead and go back. So all of that is going on in this virtual machine. I'm going to go ahead and navigate here to my greetings course into my hello assignment. And you can see there that the code, the, the automated script that runs behind the scenes, uh, recognized that Peter Parker had completed the assignment or that he is working on the assignment and that he has already made a number of commits. And I can go ahead and take a look at the test here. And you can see there that I can look at everything that ran and you can see there that the test failed. And if I scroll down the page, you can see there, hello world and hello. Now, for some reason, I saw the message without planet. So let me go ahead and reload the page. It might've been that that was still running. It takes you know a couple minutes or so. So let me go ahead and take a look. And yeah, this one ran two minutes ago. So this is newer. And if I scroll down the page, I can see here that expected was hello world and that we have hello planet. So that's pretty good integration there. We could distribute this address to all of those that would be would be completing this assignment. There's even a tool that can download all of that if we wanted to record it. It's really not necessary because all of that history is captured within the repo. And we can see here and inspect and somebody could come by and, and look at all of those if that was needed. And you might've seen that in the automated testing, there's also the possibility of assigning points. Um, I'll dig deeper into that later, but from now you can see that this is pretty good uh, automation and integration.